In this tutorial of the Word Bible software, we will be discussing Bible view settings. Open up the Word, and under the Word, just select uh, maybe something like Texas Receptus or the Net Bible. And let's go with the Net Bible. And let's go ahead and go into the Bible view settings here. We have set as default, which would make that the default. Um, we could go into here to this one, and we could set it as default. Let's use the Net one as default. We have the title of the net. Um, perhaps maybe you would want to do uh, something like this that tells you that it's an English Bible. Okay, now it has brackets E. Let's continue on. We have info, which will get us into information concerning this net Bible. This is the free version, which lets you know that you can go to the wordbooks.com and buy the full version with various notes. You can also see where the Bible is installed on your computer, the version, the identifier, things like that. Going back, we have set tab icon, for example. Maybe you want to do different colors of different translation theories or maybe different manuscript base, whatever it might be. I'll put this one as blue. You could also do a flag in there. You can do a country of Bible's origin or choose another flag. Maybe you want to note that it's, it's an English type of Bible maybe it's British or something like that or Spanish or from Spain etc now let's go down to Bible view options one sec let's just double check okay go to Bible view options but before we go into that which goes in more in depth we can show hide reorder Bible text and we can save the order of the Bible text and things like that and go okay continuing on scrolling down again we have tab options, uh, tabs in multiple, or or since we don't have a lot, you won't see that right here. If we had more Bibles, it would be, make a bigger difference. We, um, When tabs in a single row, we would have different items here. Use icons on tabs, things like that. Um, continue down, action for icon, auto assign, remove all. So if I was to go auto assign and go OK, it would assign those different um, Bibles, different ones. So this would be Greek. Hebrew, maybe English base would be British and things like that, British flag. Continuing on, show hide viewer icons. So that's along the side here. You can see I they're hidden now. I'll bring them back. Very good. Now, Bible bars background color. So maybe we want the Bible bar to have a different background color along here. We can go, for example, maybe a green or a blue or whatever it might be. And let's continue on. Now go into Bible View Options. This gets much more in depth. We're going to put it here to the side so we can see changes here in the um, in the the Bible View itself. We have default font color. We could change that maybe to a dark blue. If you want to see the change, hit Apply. We have default link color, which would be the Strong's, maybe like a bright blue, or actually along the top here, you can see those. Header and verse number color, maybe we want that to be a brown, and hit apply. We can see that along here. Okay, very good. Back, default background color, we change that at another time. Um, we want to define color, and let's do green here. Yeah, okay, and then apply. So you can see apply brings that into a default links hover color. Hmm, let's just see what that looks like. So now you can't see it right now, but if you have links, current verse highlighting color. I don't know. Let's try yellow. Let's see what happens there. Oh, there we are. So there's the current verse. Um, let's go with uh, uh, light blue and go OK. Now, reader's background image. No background image. So if you were to, you wanted to, well, let's find out. Let's try one of these, like background colors. Go open. OK apply so that changes the background color I I'd prefer none so I'll remove that off use thick underline for Bible view user highlighting so if you were to go and do highlighting in here you could go ahead and highlight for example there and now let's see what it meant by that Bible view thick underline um, let's try that out apply Perhaps that's a feature that's being worked on. Oh, I see. Let's go back here. Let's try it on a different portion of the text and go here. And now we have thick. See how that's thick? 
let's see what happens when we change that out and we'll go to apply and it goes to a thinner one very good we'll return that we have the default bible text font um, use different font for non-biblical elements, header, footer, words of a you know, things like that. By the way, there are hotkeys that you can find about out more in the help file. And that'll tell you how to turn some of these on and off via a hotkey. That means like a you could press H or R and things like that. Show words of Jesus in a different color. Um, display words added by translator with different style. Render words added by translator using italic style. Render words added by translator with square within square brackets. Text color for added words. Uh, display Old Testament quotes in bold. I like to turn this one on because then I can it shows me a little bit more about that. Let's go to general behavior and compare options. Show user formatting, highlighting, mouse wheel moves to previous next words. That's kind of a nice feature. Bring selected current verse into view. Um, center of screen, top of screen, minimum scrolling up and down. When in grab mode, um, things like that. Arrange Bible text in column, one verse beside another for each. So this is the compare view. Um, if you want to see what that is talking about, that's right here. And we'll go along to compare. And we have those along here. This is an, another advanced feature you can get into and you can select different Bibles. Let's return to the net one here let's continue on show floating header and compare view use alternate color so these are compare view I Bible knowledge that do not contain chapter okay so those are compare view paragraphs and heading display each verse in a separate line group verse and paragraph should translator paragraph line breaks display etc take some time breeze down through these alternate paragraphs you could get down ones maybe you want the net ones things like that passage heading like you always use alternate if you want passage headings so maybe we want to change passage heading to orange for example and you can see that right here um things like that let's go continue on strong's numbers we have show strong's numbers on we could turn them off uh if you leave them on but instead of showing not strong number you could do an s for example or something else what i prefer is show no link so now the words have the strong, but it's hidden behind it. Shows strong definition on a pop-up only when control is pushed. Things like that. Mm. Continuing on, morphology codes. So this Net Bible does not have morphology codes. However, the Textus Receptus does. So let's go into Bible View Options. By the way, if you had something like the Nestle Atlanta 28 or 27, those would be some things you could look into as well. So you can see here in light blue, let's make it a little bit easier to to see just for the sake of this tutorial oh that's harder to see actually let's go to a greenish and there we have the green in same way similar to strong's you can swap it out for a letter there you can show no link and so it's hidden behind the words which that's kind of helpful or and you can do once again the show no links you can also and also this is an option in the strong's is if you have more morphology dictionaries you can do those let's i'll show you what i mean by that under strongs so right now i set up under mickelson's i could set it to amgl and what does that mean so when you hover over a word that has strongs behind it it pops up the amgl in a pop-up but what if i you can go back in and return it to m strongs which would be the mickelson one so now i go again apply and here we are so it's back to mickelson's Continuing back into Bible view, continuing down footnotes and cross references. Show footnotes um, when they're in there. Uh, show cross references so we could apply that. And now we have cross references built in here. And maybe we want to put them all that we have available. So there we go. We got different ones. Merge original cross reference. The cross reference are bi directional. Show cross pop up, etc okay continuing on commentary links so commentary links after um look up available look only specific so let's see here now we got robertson word picture has commentary so you could go over these links now and you could click on that and it pull up robertson word pictures or treasury scripture knowledge there things like that let's continue back into here um 
when the mouse moves the commentary link and control show the content of the commentary in pop up window. Ah, maybe just when maybe I just want the content to pop up right away. So going back to OK, now it's applied, and now it pops up when I drag over the link. So that makes it a very quick tool to look at some different commentaries. It show inline commentaries. This is if you really get kind of, you can write at the right of each verse. It's a table. Let's try this out. So let's do Robertson's word pictures and go apply. And here, now we have it right next to it. So you have the text right next to the other text. Maybe you want to do your own verse notes, or maybe you have treasure of scripture knowledge. Let's try turning Robertson's off. And you so you can see them here side by side, kind of like the compare scripture view. Well, let's just leave Robertson word picture on. Light and color of commentary text. So let's do that. That's now we can see that it's a little bit the text is a little bit lighter. Um Use background alternating color. Let's let's do do a back uh, alternating color. Let's try a just yellow for now, just uh, for the sake of this tutorial. Uh, hmm. Let's play that again. Let's try to turn that on. Oh, lighten up color of commentary text. Hit OK. Um, well, that would be a feature you might need to explore and see exactly what that does. Show the title before entry. Text color for title. Floating. Hmm. Merge empty cells for Bible text. There are some other things there. Let's just return the, the commentary text there. Okay. The word lookup. This is getting, this one kind of starts getting more advanced here. So word look look up words in dictionary as mouse moves over Bible view. I um so let's select AMGL and M strong. Now you're going to notice something. Well actually, we already have M strong as our strongs one for right now. So hit apply. Go OK. And now when you go over a word, it'll have Mickelson's, and if you hold it down, hold down shift, and then you can scroll down, and now we'll have Abbott's and Smith. And if the word exists in the lexicon or dictionary, it should also pop up. Another one, perhaps. Let's do, oh, if more than one dictionary match, show all of them, not just the first one. So, okay, that's there now. Now we should see, and because Logos is a pretty familiar word, we have Mickelson's, we also have AMGL, NVG, Vocabulary of the Greek New Testament Student Edition. There we go. Go back into Bible View again. Continuing onward. Word click option. This is important. If there's a lemma with the actual word, you can rearrange these. They'll make different things. You can turn some of them off and on. Uh, perform lookup on all checked items. Don't stop at the first one. And then general options. Delay pop-up with definition in 300 milliseconds. Okay, so now you can see how we've we've looked at various settings and see what they've done and so what I would recommend to you is take some time set up a layout oh there we go so the alternating is that that lighter color there and we can kind of go down through that Whew, that's kind of kind of bright so let's uh, let's turn that back off under Bible views option let's go back down into here we have paragraph General behavior, where were we? Footnotes, called commentary links, not not quite inline commentary. I don't want the different one there. Go, go. Okay, let's see here. Oh, now we got her turned on. Um, so go back in, use the alternating color, lighten up. Um, let's just turn that there. Let's go default, apply, and then okay. So you can see some different things there. Um, very quick way to go down through scripture and see the text. So you can see we have a lot of different options for the Bible view. I would take some time and check them out. Um, I, I personally have some things like this. Hi, hidden behind the words, go OK. And um, you can really get into a lot of different options here. And it makes it a, the word Bible software very powerful. I hope this... This tutorial has been helpful for you as we kind of navigated the Bible view settings and looked at a few things. Do take some time, set up what works good for you, and as you study the Word and hope that the Word Bible software continues to increase your time with God and to getting to know His Word.
God bless you. Bye-bye.